Welcome to this Windows channel and here's a little tips and tricks video for anyone that wants to basically clean up their desktop. Now, you know, I usually have my desktop rather cluttered because I like to have a lot of icons of things that I use regularly always on top. But there are ways of changing, you know, and organizing all of that. So one of the first things that you need to know is that there are two ways two main ways that the computer will arrange your desktop icons automatic or of course manual meaning that you can arrange it the way you want so that's the first thing you need to know when you right click your desktop what you need to know is that of course you have in the view section in this menu auto arrange icons some of you have this uh, on that means for example if I do it you see how they are neatly now aligned correctly and not just, you know, uh, here and there and sometimes a little messy. So you can have the auto arrange. This will always put the icons in a specific order. And of course, you can also have the manual way. That means you just click to remove the check mark in front of auto arrange. But it doesn't mean you don't have other options. It also means that you can, for example, sort by your icons in different ways. Name. So this will be um, by the name that they have and will be sent uh, in a specific way by its name. Or you can, of course, align or view these uh, by size, meaning that you will have, of course, depending on the size of each item on your desktop, from uh, heaviest here on the upper left corner to the lightest right here on the bottom right. You can also sort by item type, which means that everything is grouped. So uh, every apps will be grouped, every shortcut will be grouped, every documents will be grouped, uh, every videos will be grouped, and so on. So each type of document will be grouped together. or you can also sort by, and this is my favorite one, date modified. That means that, for example, in my case, everything that I have that is new is on the upper left corner. So I can easily know that that's where, for example, videos that I actually will do are when I need to move them around or maybe erase them and so on. And don't forget, of course, that on your desktop, anything that you don't use ever you can easily remove it by right clicking on that item and clicking the delete button. Now, in cases of shortcuts that you have with these little pointing arrows here, you only remove the shortcut, not the program. And in the case of folders, you make sure that the folder is a link to another folder. And you can see that by simply leaving your mouse pointer over some items. They will give you the location of each item and of course if it says desktop that means you got to be careful because it means that you might erase everything and uh, you know it's uh, nice to add all of that in a way that you like and of course um, you can also view these in different sizes so if you want to have more icons on your desktop small icons if you want to view a little more medium that's pretty much the size that I like but if you want, you can have large icons. And of course, large icons means you have less on your screen. As you see here, it goes even to the uh, right of my screen. So um, I will, of course, revert back to the medium icon view. So these are little things that you can do to arrange. And one last little tip on this the uh, desktop, you can actually create folders if you want. So you can right click, take new, then folder. Say for example, I will say in here I will put Word documents. And now every Word document I have, so I have one here, favorite, I just slide it on to this new folder. Another Word document is here and here you go. That means you can actually create folders on your desktop that will contain only some specific items and of course you can move that around the way that you want. So nice and it's fun to you know clean up your desktop and try to do 
uh, a little um, fix up to make sure that everything is quite all right and to your liking. You know, it's your computer and it's fun when things are the way that you like. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informing new videos online. Give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And hopefully, you will continue watching our videos.